More than five million people a day ride the subway in New York, and I'm one of them. My commute from Brooklyn to Manhattan takes less than 30 minutes. The cost of riding the subway has gone up recently. 275 for a single ride like this one, but you can go as far as you like. Stand clear of the closing doors. The subway's nearly 109 years old. It's got 468 stations, more than any other system in the world. Though crowded, it moves New Yorkers around efficiently. It's 20 minutes basically anywhere you gotta go in Manhattan. You know, if you take a cab, it's $30, you don't get there, so it's not a bad deal. On my journey, there's only one station with mobile coverage and wireless. That's where everyone checks their messages. Though it's quick, the subway is grimy. New York City is known for the dirty subways. I feel like it's part of our uh, environment already. I've never seen a clean subway car. I've never seen a brand new train station, and I don't expect to see it either. The rats have become such a problem on the subway that the authorities are now going to put birth control into rat bait in an attempt to try and reduce the rat population. So this is it, the end of my morning commute. Time to bid farewell to the New York subway for now and go to work. Well, Laura, Barcelona's metro isn't nearly as dirty. In fact, what is different about Barcelona's metro? Because it's not the oldest, it's not the prettiest, but it's really good fun to travel on. Come and see why. People aren't so stressed on the Barcelona metro. They don't mind if you don't stand on the right and walk on the left. You can kind of hog the whole escalator. The trains are nice and clean. They're pretty modern. Some of them don't even have drivers. There's also somewhere to stop, have a chat, take a break in the metro. In fact, there's only one problem with the Barcelona metro, but it is a bad one. There are countless thieves, pickpockets and robbers who want to separate you from your stuff on the Barcelona metro. But these guys are here to stop it. They're undercover metro police and they're taking me on patrol. Let's go. Police say that actually they know up to 95% of the pickpockets on the Barcelona metro. It's like a game of cat and mouse. They know us, we know them. That's why it's so important for the metro police to catch the pickpockets and robbers in the act. This way they went down. On the escalator, the plainclothes police saw these guys trying to open the rucksack of some Russian tourists. The girls, though, turned around, they realised what was going on, and so they didn't actually get away with robbing anything, which means that now they're free to go. We've just rung headquarters, and those guys do have previous for stealing on the metro, but they didn't have any stolen wallets on them now. They had to be let go. So do these guys a favour when you're in Barcelona. Wear your rucksack on the front.